tourism Malaysia continues its growth momentum from the Indian market. We have always promote uh, Malaysia in many spheres and Malaysia is a good destination not just for weddings, uh, for mice and, and also for the normal traveller. We have uh, what you call uh, make uh, visa, uh, facilitate the application of visa which is very easy and there are also visa free regimes. We encourage uh, Indians to come to Malaysia. From January to March 2018, the arrival was 133,000 and in 2019, January to March, we have arrival of 158,000 approximately. It means that it has increased 18.6%. Kochi Airport to suspend daytime operations from November this year to March 2020. I think it turns out to be a great eye-opener for people like us who come to know what's happening in the industry. I think they're very well thought of articles which are being placed here. It's pretty motivating for, you know, uh, people who belong to the industry to read about stalwarts from the industry. Vice President of Yatra Exotic Roots, Sanjeev Tiku shares his story. I started my career immediately after completing a graduation and I was 19 plus. I have been an avid, I would say, a tourism lover, mountain lover in my uh, days in university. Being a science graduate, it had nothing to do with me, uh, with, with the tourism. But yes, my love for the mountains brought me into the trade. Initial years of my career was almost eight to nine years of my career went through handling the USSR. But then when it broke, I think I had a distinction of bringing in the first charter flight from Russia to India. That changed my life. I think we are still, we are still lagging behind. But yeah, we are technically far more advanced than many countries in Europe. We are far more advanced in our communications. We are far more better than any other country in the world as far as services concerned.